Hey everyone, thanks for watching. This is video five in our Strong Inside and Out series. And today we're gonna to be talking about seasons of rest, okay? So let's first talk about the natural. We know that rest is super important when we're exercising. If you're someone who works out, you know how, how important rest is, okay? And I found some research that said it's actually 50%. So it's like this, this um, equal part. So in order to get, um, uh, to build good muscle. We have to have 50% workout and 50% rest. And that doesn't necessarily mean that you work out three days and you take three days off, but that it takes both of those parts. They do, they both do an equal part into building muscle and to getting healthy and building new muscle tissue, right? Because what happens is when we work out, we're, we're breaking down um, the old cells, like we're breaking up our fallow ground, right? And then when we, um, when we uh, rest, we're rebuilding new cells, newer, stronger um, uh, cells that help us become stronger and help us to have endurance and so on and so forth, right? And so it's the same way spiritually. Thank goodness that he gives us the natural, something that we can understand to show us the supernatural. And so in the same way in supernatural realm, um, in this, in the spiritual, uh, uh, way of doing things. Rest is just as important. In fact, rest is so important. God honors rest and he actually commanded us to rest. Okay. And if we look around, that's, that's written in so many different things that we do. And, and we see farmers, how they know to give their different portions of land rest so that it can become more fruitful. And we look at our kids, right? And we can tell when they're going through a growth spurt because they're resting, right? They're, they're sleeping a lot. And then when they wake up, they're taller and they're stronger, okay? So rest has its purpose. And we can learn to appreciate and accept that time of rest. I am one of those that struggles with this. I'm still learning this spiritually and physically. And I will talk about that in a little bit. As I mentioned in the last video, though, just quickly, I do not like bench sitting. I do not like shelf sitting. I am one who who um, wants to just do and wants to be out there, wants to be doing something all the time. But God is slowly teaching me to accept and appreciate the seasons of rest. And he wants to teach you the same. Okay. So there's basically two types of rest. There's a type of rest that we can give to ourselves. We can say, you know what? I've been pushing hard. I'm taking today off. Right. And so those times are great. Um, and the things I'm going to say may apply to that. But what I'm really talking about is the second type of rest. And the second type of rest is is when God ordains a season of rest for you in your life, right? And so these are the type of seasons that we don't have control over. And so we can become really restless and irritated and frustrated in these seasons because we're like two days in, we're like, God, I'm ready. I'm rested. I'm ready to get back out there. Use me. And God's like, it's not time yet. Okay. I have a time and a season set up for your, for your rest and, and you're going to go through it. Okay. And you're going to come out stronger, but, um, maybe you're, you're, watching this and you're like, yeah, I'm kind of in that season. And maybe beforehand, you know, you were out there, you were involved in everything you were doing. Um, you know, there wasn't anything you didn't volunteer for and God was using you. God was using your gifts. Right. And now all of a sudden it's like all that has come to a screeching halt and you're in this God ordained season of bed rest in other words. Okay. And so, um, but you can learn to appreciate and accept that more actually is taking place during that time, right? We don't get to where we're going spiritually just by the doing, just like we learn that in, in our natural way of exercising. There's another element to it, which is the other 50%, right? Which is, which is rest. And so that other 50% is super, super important. And, um, so our scripture for today is Psalm 37, seven, and it simply says rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him and do not fret because of him who prospers in his way. And the reason I chose the second line to be in there, even though it doesn't really have a whole lot to what I'm saying, uh, to do with what I'm saying is because sometimes during these seasons of rest, these God ordained seasons of rest that we have no control over and we're, we're frustrated. We want to get out there. We're like, put me in coach. Um, the enemy comes to us and he lies and he says, you know what? Others are getting further than you. Um, you know what? You're going to 
lose all your progress, right? And those types of things. And so God's saying, wait patiently on me and just rest. Don't worry about the people around you, what they're doing. I'm doing something in you, in your season of rest, okay? Um, I have two examples for you. One is natural and one is supernatural. The first one, happened just uh, last week um, due to some unfortunate, uh, at this point, unexplained uh, health conditions. I was forced to take four days off of exercising, actually four days off of pretty much everything. And um, I, all I could do was just lay around. I had no strength and no energy. And um, so I had to take four days off of working out, which working out has become my favorite hobby, something that I absolutely enjoy. And I'm making a ton of progress finally. And you better believe that during that season of rest, I was like, I'm going to lose all my progress. I, I hate that I have to sit here. I want to get back up. I want to work out, you know, um, but actually what happened is one of, one of my goals when we're, when I'm working out is to do a pull up. I'm going to learn how to do a pull up. And I've had some progress along the way and I've been increasing and I've been watching videos and been teaching me how to, you know, how to accomplish that first one. And so I went after this four days was over to the pull-up bar, checked myself, pulled myself up and almost hit my head on the, the roof that's right there because I had pulled myself up so far, which I wasn't expecting because I actually came back stronger, right? And I'll hold myself there, which before I left, I could hold myself for 10 10 seconds and that day I held myself for 15 seconds and so even though I felt like nothing was happening I was getting stronger my body was repairing itself it was making it stronger and newer right and so I came back stronger and we can do the same thing spiritually okay um, another example is this this series is a huge example of what God does during our seasons of rest. Um, four and a half months ago, I left my last series and I didn't know where I was headed. I always wait on the Lord to hear what He has to say, what He wants me to teach. And I kept asking, Lord, are we done making videos? Do you have anything for me? It's been one month, it's been two months, it's been three months, we're four months, Lord. It's four and a half months till finally He said yes. And He said, this is what I want you to teach on. And here we are. And I thought, wow, how awesome that during this time that I thought I was actually resting and that's all that was taking place, that he was, he was showing me the supernatural in working out and he wanted me to teach that. And he was planting all these things, all these videos inside of me so that when my time of rest was over, that I would have a series to put out. Okay. And I've come back stronger in many ways also. And so God is good. He's faithful. And if you're in a season of rest, it's not just a boring, empty, nothing season. And God is doing something under the ground, right? He doesn't want us striving. He wants us to rest in him, to wait patiently for him. God gives the acceleration, right? Scriptures tell us that he can accelerate where he sees fit. And um, God gives the increase. That's another scripture in 1 Corinthians and I think about when I was putting this together, I was thinking about Zechariah 4, 6 that says, not by might, not by power, but by my spirit. And so God wants us to lean into him, to wait on him, right? To accept that season of rest. And if you're like me, here's something that I've been praying over myself when I'm in a season of rest. I'm going to say, God, you know what? I'm resting. I'm being obedient to you as I rest. Please accelerate me. When I come back, let me come back stronger. Let me come back further than I've ever been. Okay? So that's our word for today. I look forward to seeing you next week. And I look forward to, to um, growing stronger inside and out with you. God bless.